If you have been looking for a new home or if you recently put your home on the market, you may have heard the phrase seller's assist. Although you may have heard the phrase, if you're like most people, you probably don't fully understand how it works. Well, shed some light on the seller's assistance in this article and address some frequently asked questions about how it works. What is seller assist? Seller assistance is offered by a seller to the buyer as a way to help pay closing costs. With this assistance, money becomes available for other things associated with acquiring a new home, such as paying the first mortgage payment, paying down the loan's interest rate, or saving up to pay for the property taxes. How does a seller's assist work? A seller's assistance is a commission paid by the seller of a property to the buyer. It is also sometimes called a selling concession or seller's contribution. The seller's assistance can be used to help cover a variety of costs associated with buying a home, such as the down payment, closing costs, or even prepaid expenses. In most cases, the seller's assistance is limited to 3% of the purchase price of the home. For example, on a $300,000 home, the seller's assist would be capped at $9,000. Can seller assist funds be used for the down payment? The seller assist funds can often be used for the down payment on a home. This is because sellers often want to help buyers with the costs associated with buying a home. In many cases, sellers will provide funds to help with the down payment, closing costs, or both. However, it is important to remember that sellers are not required to provide assistance. Therefore, it is important to ask the seller if they are willing to provide assistance before making an offer on a home. Can the seller assist be more than closing costs? The answer is generally no. When a seller offers a seller's assistance, they are specifying that the funds can only be used for closing costs. Any other expenses would have to be paid for separately. So, if the seller's assistance exceeds the closing costs, the buyer would simply receive a refund for the difference. Of course, there are always exceptions to every rule. If both the buyer and seller agree that the excess seller's assistance funds can be used for another purpose, then it may be possible to make it happen. What is the tax implication for seller assist? While a seller's assistance can be a great way to help buyers with their closing costs, there are tax implications to be aware of. The seller's assistance is considered income, and as such, it is subject to income tax. Additionally, if the seller's assistance is more than $10,000, it may be subject to the gift tax. As such, it's important to consult with a tax advisor before offering a seller's assistance to your buyers. Is seller's assist a good idea? Seller's assistance can be a great help to sellers by connecting them with qualified buyers and providing them with the resources they need to close the deal. Seller's assistance can make the process of selling a home much easier. Additionally, sellers who use seller's assist may not have as much control over the sale of their home, and the process can often be very stressful. Ultimately, whether or not seller's assist is a good idea depends on each individual seller's situation.